ओके गाइस वेलकम टू डीनोस वॉल्ट इट्स रेनिंग एब्सोल्युटली कैट्स एंड डॉग्स दिस इज द टीवीएस हब एंड दिस इज द प्लेस फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग एक्चुअली सो रियली होपिंग दैट द वॉइस गेट्स रिकॉर्डेड बिकॉज़ इट्स रेनिंग एब्सोल्युटली नट्स हियर no mercy whatsoever and i have done the tracking i have felt the bike already it is very very comfortable very very torquey 20 bhp 20 newton meters 225 cc single air cooled or you can say oil cooled and uh, i got to be a little careful here things are getting way too slippery but the roads are really good empty virtually empty and uh, let's get going now forward set foot pegs relaxed ergonomics very compact silhouette neo retro styling it's like a retro roadster can't call it a cruiser it is not laid back design it is upright slightly forward set foot pegs block pattern tires they could have made it the rear sets maybe i mean not rear set but center set foot pegs would have uh, made it a proper scrambler but the silhouette nice 790 mm seat height so maybe 790 or 795 mm it is less than 800 uh, but uh, seat height and the seat quality is very very premium like build quality always top notch when it is uh, tvs so the offset uh, speedo console is doing a brilliant job has a uh, nice uh, contemporary retro feel to it it has turn by turn navigation you can connect your uh, phone to it you have call sms email alerts everything that you come expecting now we are in rain mode we have two modes actually you can call it riding modes or abs modes because the power remains the same it is the abs intervention that changes so in rain abs intervention is maximum to prevent the vehicle from uh, skidding and uh, in uh, or the prevent the wheel lock and in uh, urban mode it is slightly less intrusive allowing the wheel to move a little more freely you do get slipper clutch and uh, you do get uh, adjustable levers the mirrors are very good quality this stock is well designed the t shaped headlamp is also really good 14 liter tank that is something i absolutely loved so it's not just 12 liter so two more liters little more tank range really really helps so they have thought about everything uh, 130 section rear tire on road off road tires just in case you <coughs> end up in a little bit of dirt like this and uh, overall it is absolute comfort that they are underscoring city commutes are going to be an absolute breeze nice uh, you know compact urban retro roadster kind of a design and there is nothing like it it's a completely different breed altogether i just hope the view is not being hampered because it is pouring out there absolutely pouring out here and uh, built really really well exhaust note exhaust note is the typical base heavy apache kind of a feel and it has distinct character of its own so yes unscripted and uh, new way of life 
this is going to go an absolute hit with all the young professionals who commute on a day to day basis one of the most comfortable bikes well built bikes dual channel abs variant is also there single channel abs variant is also there starting from 149000 onwards going all the way up to 168000 you have three different variants uh, the base variant uh, doesn't get uh, gold anodized forks it gets usd forks but the gold anodized forks are available i think in the top end or maybe the middle end onwards middle variant onwards but uh, dual channel abs available in the top variant and 300 mm front disc so the braking is really really good and the visibility for me now is uh, going really down because the rain is going crazy so i can't take chances i can give you a little bit of acceleration test Here we go for the top. Okay, a quick top speed test. We did that in grand style because it is very risky, narrow roads, slippery, extremely testing conditions to actually put it to the maximum test in this uh, road conditions. So it is naturally being tested in the most uh, grueling. Uh, trying conditions with this horrible horrible rain which has been non stop since last night and uh, you can watch my detailed walk around review where i give you a glimpse of all the visuals that you need to know it comes with a fully accessorized version as well which gets saddle bags and tank bag and top rack and what not front windscreen so that uh, range of accessories really makes this a complete motorcycle you can tour on this you can cruise on this at 95 to 100 kilometers per hour easily you get five speed gears uh, yes you do miss a sixth gear but the where the gear ratios are matched you don't really miss and it is more not of a not more of a top end machine it is more of a torquey machine so most of the punch and the power or the torque lies through the mid range and that's where you enjoy the motorcycle to the fullest so that's pretty much it braking i have talked about suspension 41 mm uh, big piston forks from showa which is like flagship uh, category because no one else offers big piston forks from showa in this price range so that is absolute uh, hats off to tvs they've given all the safety slipper clutch and uh, abs uh, dual channel abs and uh, you also have the uh, connect tvs connect app which uh, with an array of whole array of features so all this makes this one of the best bikes that you can buy in this price segment if comfort is your top priority look no further if torqueiness if torque master is what you're looking for then look no further if you want an urban bike a do it all bike a single bike philosophy that can take you to office and back a proper commuter and i am really tempted to buy this one for myself honestly because uh, yes the r15 is awesome r15 m which i own currently but comfort on this is so damn good the way you sit the ergonomics are so well sorted that it is very very tempting for those who prefer comfort oh my god this time this way the rain and the wind is getting really really intense so let's go this way this way back let's hope that rain god please have mercy god please have mercy <laughs> just go a little easy on us so that's pretty much it so let's just stop right here so you can see the arrow shaped uh, tail lamps i mean the turn indicators the tail lamp integrated tail lamp looks super super cool and funky and here is the name ronin 
this reminds us of the zeppelin to some extent you have 3d uh, tvs logo right here dual tone colors look super premium the seat is so well done so well sorted very good uh, comfort for the rider decent enough room for the pillion it could have been slightly longer but that will spoil the design first thing i'll remove if i buy this bike is this one this doesn't this spoils the look of the bike and front you have a beautiful retro looking machine t-shaped headlamp offset mono offset uh, speedo console and this sits on screws but uh, it is rock solid it doesn't budge an inch so golden folks usd big piston folks from showa absolutely rock solid stability and superb ride quality tires specially developed remora tires for this with uh, tire compound and tire uh, uh, what you got tread pattern has been specially developed to offer good on road off road capabilities block pattern tires tubeless tires and uh, 130 section tire at the back then you have disc brakes 300 mm disc brake up front 240 mm at the back but more than anything else exhaust note is truly truly kick ass so let me give you the exhaust note wow so this concludes my rainy review of the ronin absolutely drenched in rain i just hope the audio got recorded hats off to gopro if they can pull this off in this treacherous conditions and telugu vlog is coming up uh, that i have to record that as well thanks for watching catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe never break always fight never quit do it right play the game when it life have no shame it's no time